Hello guys, Keyboard on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can get 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash the subscribe button. So, well, according to Blues Focus, we have signed QPR midfielder Andrea Dozzle on a season on loan deal to the rest of the season. But then after that, they put below, it has been reported. So, you know, I'm the only one that clip baits there, aren't I? So that's good. That's, that's going to be my title, is signed for the club. Because, yeah, they did it. So, yeah, um, apparently he's signed until the end of the season. Um, he had, well, his contract um, is going to run out in the summer. They did have an, um, they did have, um, an option where they could um, extend it for another 12 months. Of course, he would, of course, he would be um, Tony Mowbray's first signing um, for Blues. And... Um, I'm surprised really this took this long to make our first signing of the giant transfer window. We're like 20 days into it now. So he's made 25 appearances in the championship this season. He started 22 and scored two goals and got one assist. Main position from the centre from the centre from the centre midfield position. Um, his performances have been mainly positive with, with his skill set being exactly what Blues boss Tony Mowbray is looking for in a central midfielder. He's been at QPR since the summer of 2021. Um, Blues could use a midfielder with a keen eye for a forward pass. Well, I mean, I mean, if if he if he's good at passing the ball forwards, then I'm all for it. To be fair, but yeah, he can play as a central midfielder. That's his main position. He can also play as a defensive midfielder and as an attack as an attacking midfielder. So he can play in three. He can play in three different positions. Now, I've not I've not actually heard of this player. He's from QPR, left footed. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he brings to the team. Now, obviously, I think our midfield op midfield options are pretty poor. Let's let's be honest. I mean, Christian Bielik and Ivan Sonjic, you know, it doesn't it doesn't scream it doesn't scream amazing, does it? It doesn't like put fear into the opposition. Plus, I don't think neither of them can neither of them can really pass the ball. Let's be fair, they can't pass the ball. So, yeah, our first signing, um, Andrea Dozel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this one. It is an interesting one. I, you know, I predicted that we was going to bring in a midfielder in the journey transfer window. And this is this a hint that Jordan James could be leaving um, and going to uh, going over to Italy um, to sign for Fiorentina. Now, of course, there's been a lot of reports that Jordan James might be leaving the club this January transfer window. But with just over a week to go, he is still at the club. And it's going to be interesting to see um, if we're going to be accepting any bids and letting him go. Because don't forget we're still in a relegation battle. The last bit of news is Luka Zukovic to Blackburn Rovers. Now, Luka Zukovic, of course, he has been a really good servant for the football club. He's scored some very important goals for us um, You know, on the final day of the season against Fulham. Being one of them to keep us in the championship. When, when we've needed Luka Zukovic most... He's performed. I I don't know. Look, obviously, he's not good enough to start now. I mean, off the bench, he scored, off the bench, I think he can make an impact even at his age. But yeah, I would personally want to see him retire at Blues. Um, I think it would be a bit of a shame if he goes to Blackburn Rovers, and that just goes to show how desperate Blackburn Rovers are. To be fair, they want like a 36-year-old who's coming towards the end of his uh, career. Well, Blackburn, like that, that like 18th now. Of course, that's another one of Tony Mowbray's former clubs as well, isn't it? But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been Keep Right on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if you can watch your likes. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, keep right on.